Hello parents and carers of New Year 5. My name's Mrs Sortell, I'm the head teacher here at St Osmond School. We are really looking forward to welcoming your children and also to developing parental partnerships with you at home because that triangulation makes for really great learning and super citizens in the development. We're a Church of England school, so we're underpinned by core Christian values and of course we embrace children of every faith here at St Osmond's. Hi there, I'm Helen Pegram. I'm transition for St Osmond's, so I have been preparing your children for their smooth transfer to come here in September. So I have lucky enough, before we went into lockdown, I was able to spend four weeks visiting most of the first schools that, where children will be coming here and meeting the children, getting to know them so that I'm a familiar face for them too. You need to ask them if they can remember seeing me in their classroom. And I've also been sending out weekly to you activity sheets for your children to do all about St Osmond's. And they're all really exciting activities. For instance, we have had one on lockers, and lockers are the most exciting thing about St Osmond's for your children when they come up. They absolutely love them. If you haven't been able to, if you haven't been able to access these um, activity sheets, then either contact your first school and they will be able to send you in the right direction for that, or email me so that I can send them out to you or arrange a different way to get them to you. So my email address is hpegram, that's P-E-G-R-A-M, at stosmonds.dorset.sch.uk and I will make sure that I can work out a different access for you. Also, you as parents, it's a really important time for you too, the transfer for your child to come up to us. So if you've got any questions or concerns, please do get in touch with me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mr. Otter. I am the leader for year five. Um, I'm going to tell you about the, um, the names for the different tutors in, uh, in year five. Uh, we have Miss Savage, we have Mrs Adams, we have a joint tutor group with Miss Minhinick and Mrs Christian, and we have Miss Willis. But we also have two new tutors in this year, Mr Mitchell and Miss Ford. Your children will see their tutors twice a day, in morning registration and again in uh, afternoon registration. If uh, you have any queries, they are your first port of call along with Miss Pegram. Anything more serious, you can get in touch with me and you can contact um, any of us over email or you can contact us over the phone and we'll try and give you a call back as soon as we possibly can. Hello, I'm going to tell you about our gender neutral uniform. Right from the very beginning, I want us to be really clear that we work incredibly hard with our families and with our students to have a very smart looking uniform. So much so that over the last year, I think we've become the smartest school in Dorchester. From the top, we would like your child to wear a plain white shirt that can be short sleeved or long sleeved depending on their preference. Then from there, the top button needs to be done up because it looks really smart. And then you can fix the tie. The school tie and the school jumper are both available from Dorset School Wear in Weymouth. If you are a family in receipt of free school meals, then you are also entitled to a uniform voucher to help you afford what you need to buy. All you need to do is contact our main office and we'll be able to give you the information with regards to this. A little sneaky peek for next year's year five, we're slightly changing the school uniform, only in that the jumpers are going to be V-neck as opposed to round neck, and we think this will show off our school tie even better. So when your student comes to our school, they're going to be the start of the trendsetters for the next 10 years or so. Working our way down through the uniform, we would like your child to wear either trousers, shorts or a skirt, but the colour has to be black or charcoal grey, dark grey. Our shoes. We've worked also incredibly hard to be able to get all of our students to be wearing formal black school shoes. They need to be leather or leather looking, so if you can polish them, that's a clear signal to us. And we don't want any big branding around the outside, no big sports logos whatsoever, and certainly no trainers. Black trainers are not acceptable here at St Osmond's. Hello again, I'm here to talk to you about behaviour here at St Osmond's. 
We believe in having fantastic, wonderful and positive relationships with everybody throughout the school and our community. So much so, we don't have a behaviour policy, we have a relationships policy. And it really focuses clearly on pro-social, positive behaviour. We want our children to be great at their learning, to be great with each other and to be great citizens in our local community. We underpin this through three words, ready, respectful, safe. We want our children to be ready for life and ready for learning. If they're not in the right mindset to be able to learn, then they're not going to be able to make fantastic progress. We want them to be respectful. Respectful to each other, respectful to the adults, and respectful to themselves and in and through their work. And lastly, we want them to be safe. Everybody has to be safe because when we are all safe and secure, then we feel quite comfortable to be able to stretch and challenge our boundaries of our comfort zone. So when we co communicate with you and we have all of our correspondence, we're being sincere, we're being honest, we're being as best as we can to make sure that you understand that what we do here is primarily for the benefit of your children. We use a parent app which is synced with our school information system. It's called a Sims parent app. And this will allow you to have daily contact from school, for instance, about your child's achievements, about homework that they've been set. You'll also be able to see their timetable for the day or help you know when to send in PE kit, etc. In this way, you can follow any issues with your child's learning, causing perhaps a little problem, and certainly lots and lots of positive celebrations as they gain merits you'll be able to see what they've gained merits for, in which subjects, and from which members of staff. In addition to that, in school, we also have Hot Chocolate Friday, where I invite two students on average from every year group, every week, to come and have hot chocolate with me. Special treat for something amazing, going over and above. You will also receive Head Teachers Awards and Subject Awards, Home in the Post, from time to time. And at the end of each half term, your child will receive a certificate if they've gained a certain level of merits for great learning. Here are the Year 5 lockers, really, really important for your, for your child, just like their mobile phones, if your child does have a mobile phone. So if you would wish or would like your child to bring their mobile phone into school, their mo mobile phones have to be switched off before they come onto the school grounds, they have to put them inside their rucksacks, inside their lockers, and that's where they need to stay for the whole day. They can't have access to their phone until they have left the school premises at the end of the day going home. Right, to help your children be ready to learn, we ask that they bring with them every single day a pencil case. And in that pencil case, we ask that they have a handwriting pen, they have a pencil, they have a 30 centimetre ruler with them and anything else that might be useful. So, for example, calculators or rubbers and sometimes protractors. If your child usually receives some additional support with their learning or develops the need for that, then we have a dedicated space called the study, which is a small staffed space for a small group of children, perhaps about as many as six, although it tends not to be that many, to work. We have a dedicated Senko, Mr Absalon, who's a member of the SLT, and we also have a team of up to 20 TAs, a little bit fluid depending on the children that we've got here, and we offer lots of one-to-one -one support, um, in-class support, and small group intervention work, lots of which will be in the study. We also have Mrs Dipple, who's our SEND manager, and a very cute school dog, Oscar, who we use as a support dog in and around school. In addition to all our SEND support in the study, we also have a whole raft of wellbeing interventions, including Elsa and Nurture. Hello, you join me again in our wonderful sports hall, and I'm just going to briefly tell you about our extracurricular opportunities here at school. It's not just sport-centred, although we do have loads of sports that your children can engage in if they wish. There can be football, 
rugby, tag rugby, there can be netball, basketball, hockey, cross country running, fitness, athletics, rounders, all sorts of things. We will tell you what sports clubs are going on every week and that will be available through our website. As well as sports, there are music opportunities. Your son or daughter could learn to play an instrument or join one of our choirs and eventually maybe perform either through a collective worship or in one of our church services. It's not just to do with sports and music, there's also drama. We have an amazing drama studio which we are able to use and we have whole school productions that eventually your children might want to get involved in. Outside of that, we've got gardening clubs, we've got art clubs, we've got a Lego club. There are all sorts of things that your children can do to start a new activity and to join something new and maybe meet other people and other children in other year groups as well. All of this is free. You don't have to pay for it whatsoever. And we will communicate with you to understand when your son or daughter is attending a club so that we can register them and know safely where they are. So, a normal day at St Osmond's. Your children need to be on the premises at 8.30, ready for 8.40 for them to come into school and ready for their registration. Then they have two lessons before break, where they need a really healthy snack to eat, because lunchtime is, quite, is much later on in the morning, so they need something to give them some energy. Then they have two lessons after break and lunch at one o'clock. Lunch is 45 minutes. And after that, they have their last lesson of the day, which is lesson five. Lesson five then finishes and they have their reading and reflection time or they may have collective worship. And the end of the day, 3.15. After that, a lot of children will be going home, but some might be going to an after school club, which is Aussie All Stars. Aussie All Stars is outside and I will show you where that is. Here is Aussie All Stars for our morning and afternoon wraparound care. So join me in our beautiful library here at Aussies. If I could just tell you that the website, the school website, has lots and lots of really useful information on it for you. Um, in particular, I'd signal to you our knowledge organisers where every module of learning is accompanied by a one-page overview map of key vocabulary and information to help you support your child's learning. Um, they're great. Also on our website you can find a weekly updated list of after-school clubs. There are many. They're all free of charge. Please have a look and we will happily um, take your child in on them. And really all that remains is to say we're very much looking forward to working with you and in your child's best interests. Please do contact Mrs Pegram if there's anything you need to clarify before you start. Thank you.